Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing yet another Arch-based Linux distribution. I just can't get enough of these Arch-based Linux distros, I guess. This is like the sixth or seventh one I've reviewed since starting this channel less than two months ago. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a look at Arch Merge. Now, I, I have never heard of Arch Merge. Uh, this was actually suggested by one of the uh, channel's viewers. Uh, and it sounds like it's really interesting. Arch Merge comes with three different desktops, the XFCE desktop, the Openbox window manager, and the i3 window manager. So that's pretty cool that you get all three. And that's usually what I do on my machines anyway. Usually if I install a distro that comes with a proper desktop environment, say GNOME, KDE, Unity, whatever, XFCE, I always end up installing the Openbox window manager anyway because I like it. It's a nice minimal window manager. That's what I live in. And I usually also install a tiling window manager of some kind. Uh, usually Xmonad is what I go with. Uh, so this is pretty cool. So I get, you know, a proper full desktop environment. I get the Openbox window manager. I get the i3 tiling window manager. So I'm pretty excited about trying this out. Alright, so I'm going to be installing Arch Merge inside. VirtualBox. So we have the option here in the boot menu boot Arch Merge Linux, boot existing OS, run memtest, hardware information, reboot, power off. I'm going to boot Arch Merge Linux. This should boot us directly into a live environment. And I'm assuming that from the live environment we'll find a, uh, the installer. And we're booting into a, a live environment. This looks like possibly the XFC desktop. And the installer launches immediately, so no need to search through any menus trying to find the installer. So it has already chosen English United States for language. I'm going to click Next. This is the Calamares installer, by the way. Very familiar installer. I've seen this in a lot of Arch based Linux distros. Time zone, it has chosen America, Chicago, that's correct. Keyboard, English, US, that is correct. I can test that out in this test build. The keyboard is working as expected. Partitioning, I'm going to erase the disk and give Arch Merge the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine. For those of you that need to partition, you can choose manual partitioning to set up your partitions. You'll need to do that if you want to set up, say, a separate home partition, or for you guys that are dual booting, say, alongside Windows. All right, we need to create our user. I'm going to call my username Arch Merge. We need to create a password for that user. We have the option of logging in automatically without being asked for a password. I never like ticking that on. I want to be asked for a password. We have the option of using the same password for our user we just created also for the administrator account. I'm going to tick that on. Alright, and then we have the summary of everything we just went through. Locations correct, keyboards correct, the partition scheme is correct. Yeah, I'm going to click next and the install starts. It's formatting the drive, writing to the disk and this installer should run probably about five to ten minutes. I'm going to pause the video and the installer has completed now we need to tick this box here that says restart now. Uh, I've always complained about this in the Calamari's installer. Anytime you install an operating system you always have to reboot your machine so it doesn't make sense to have this ticked off by default. It should just be ticked on automatically you know and then you click done the machine will reboot. I'll be right back. Alright so I rebooted the machine and now let's check out our freshly installed Arch Merge. Let's see how long it takes to boot up. Alright, we got to a login manager very fast. Alright, I'm going to enter my password, login, and we're logging into the XFCE desktop environment. All right, a pretty sexy looking desktop environment. Really cool uh, sci-fi like wallpaper. Pretty cool icon theme here with this uh, almost a black and white kind of grayish icon theme here in our dock. I'm going to go through the XFCE menu and show you what programs are installed in Arch Merge by default. So, 
Let me go down to accessories. Under accessories we have archive manager, bulk rename for renaming multiple files, the catfish file search, standard file search uh, utility in XFCE. We have our character map, we have clipman which is the clipboard manager. We have CockyZen, which is uh, a utility for Conky. Conky is a little desktop system monitor. Let me see if I can actually launch it. Kill any running Conkeys? Okay. Mm, that didn't launch anything. Okay, I got the Conky to launch. It's right here behind my head. This is Conky. It's a little uh, system monitoring utility that sits on your desktop and basically becomes part of the desktop. All right, continuing through the menu here. Under accessories, we have our disk utility. We have a font manager, a font viewer. We have calculator. We have our HP device manager for your printers. Uh, the light DM greeter settings. The light DM, uh, light DM is our login manager. You know, where you type in your username and password to log into XFCE. In this case, that was light DM. We have our menu editor to, men to edit this menu here. Mouse pad is the text editor, the standard text editor in the XFC desktop environment. Really nice uh, text editor, lightweight, minimal. We have notes, our, our note taking utility. We have global time, which shows uh, clocks, you know, time zones all around the world. We have plank, which is our dock. This here is plank. Also, under accessories, we have Redshift for color temperature adjustment. We have screen keys. We have a screenshot utility. Our sensor viewer. We have our task manager. Temps for uh, let's see simple menu bar application based on electron. It shows weather information. Okay, so temps is a weather app. We have the Thunar file manager. This is the standard file manager in XFCE. Really nice lightweight file manager. Let's see, what else do we have under accessories? We have a USB image writer for making bootable USB sticks. A USB stick formatter. We have Variety, which is a wallpaper changer. Uh, I guess it sets your wallpaper to, uh, you know, change, you know, at a certain time. XF Burn, which is XFCE's disk burning utility. Pretty nice disk burning utility. Uh, under development, we have Genie, which is our... Uh, it's another text editor, but it's really an IDE. You know, it's really four coders. Let's see. Under development, we also have our icon browser. We have mailed. We have a lot of QT stuff. So, for those that are, you know, program developers, you got a lot of the uh, cute toolkit stuff there. LibreOffice Math is what is installed under education. Under graphics, we have Darktable. That's interesting that that's installed by default. That's uh, for organizing and developing images from your digital camera. We have our document viewer for viewing PDFs, font manager, and font viewer again. We have GIMP, which is the GNU image manipulation program. Basically, it is our free and open source uh, Adobe Photoshop alternative. GIMP is a really, really nice uh, graphical editing pro program. We have GPIC, which is our color picker. We have Inkscape, which is a vector graphics program. Uh, not, not a vector, yeah, it is a scalable vector graphics program. Uh, where GIMP is for raster uh, images. We have LibreOffice Draw again. We have Nomax, which is an image viewer. We have Peak, which records short animated GIF images. We have the Ristretto Image Viewer, Shotwell Photo Manager, and Simple Scan. And the wallpaper just changed on its own, so I guess it's already using that wallpaper utility we discussed a second ago. So I guess, you know, every few minutes it cycles through whatever wallpapers are installed. Under Internet, we have uh, the Avahi server, we have Chromium as our default browser, FileZilla, which is a FTP client, that's File Transfer Protocol, uh, that's for uploading files to a remote server, so you would do that. For example, uh, uploading to a web server, you know, if you had websites. Uh, Firefox is also installed, so we have both Chromium and Firefox on this ISO. That's interesting that they include, include both browsers. You'd think they would pick one 
and you know go with that you know go with chromium for example and say I really like Firefox I don't I want to use Firefox rather than chromium you know just let the user install Firefox uninstall chromium themselves instead of taking up you know a lot of space on the ISO we have hex chat our chat program transmission BitTorrent client that's the standard BitTorrent client in the GNOME desktop we have Vivaldi which is another web browser we have three different web browsers on this ISO mm. I really think that they're just taking up just unneeded space there. We have GUVC view, which is a webcam viewer. You see this rectangle my head is in? This is GUVC view running on my main machine. We have Lollipop, which is for play and organizing your music collection. I've never actually looked at Lollipop before. Let's see what Lollipop is all about. Looks like a standard audio player. Under multimedia, we also have some pulse audio stuff. We have simple screen recorder for recording your desktop. For example, right now I'm recording my desktop with simple screen recorder on my main machine. That's how I'm making this video. VLC is our uh, video player. You can also play audio in VLC. VLC is by far the best multimedia player available on Linux. And XF Burn appears again in the multimedia. All right, under the office category, we have our dictionary, document viewer, evolution, email, and then we have the entire LibreOffice suite. Under settings, we have about me, accessibility, ad remove software, Adobe Flash player. Flash. I hate it. When will it die? We have appearance, Bluetooth, desktop, display. We have our file manager again. That's the Thunar file manager. Firewall config, keyboard, you know, your standard system settings stuff here. Under uh, system, we have some of the same stuff we saw in settings, like add remove software. We have the Arch Merge Hello. I guess this is a little greeter to welcome you to the Arch Merge distro. That's pretty cool that that's there. We have cool retro term. Yeah, let's check that out. I'm assuming it's a terminal emulator. Yeah, it's a really old school looking terminal emulator that's pretty cool looks like you know like a old uh, Macintosh from back in the day or old Commodore you know for those of you that grew up in the 80s and remember those those computers back then the monochrome display alright we have our disk usage analyzer gparted gr sync uh, manage printing print settings sensor viewer software updater our task manager. Let's take, check out the task manager. Now this is the XFCE desktop environment. So this is a full desktop environment running here on our Arch Merge. I gave this machine two cores of my six core CPU to use. And right now it is idling, I don't know, somewhere between 3% and 10% on CPU. So pretty low CPU usage. Uh, memory it's using 11% of just under six gigs of memory that I gave it so not bad memory uses either XFCE, XFCE is designed for uh, being a lightweight minimal desktop environment great for older computers also under system we have the URXVT terminal it's a old school lightweight minimal term, terminal UX term another lightweight minimal terminal we have the XFCE terminal we have Xterm we also had Termite, so we've got like five different terminal emulators installed on Arch Merge. Uh, Termite is probably the one I just opened. is is probably the uh, the best one to go with. Termite's a really nice terminal emulator. All right, I'm going to right click on the desktop and I'm going to choose Desktop Settings. Let's see what kind of wallpapers uh, Arch Merge is including by default. You notice the wallpapers keep changing. Um, I've got some pretty cool photos here included by default. Some pretty nice stuff here. I'm not sure I really like that one. Uh, that one's not bad. It kind of fits with the black and white theme that, that they're wanting to go with here. That's pretty cool. Now uh, I'm going to log out of the XFC desktop environment because according to their web page we also had openbox and i3 included on the ISO so I'm gonna load up openbox and see what that looks like 
So I'm back at the login manager and I'm going to click on the top right and I'm going to choose the open box session this time. And it looks like by default we have a panel at the top. This probably is the tent 2 panel. We still have the plank dock here in the open box session, but of course we have our traditional open box right click menu here with all of the same programs of course that we saw in XFCE. So pretty cool. Uh, let me just open something here to show you how the uh, tent 2 panel at the top here looks. So. Oh, this is our desktops here. So this icon here represents our cool retro term here. And this square here that is just a little lighter than these, this is our first desktop. Here is our second desktop. Here is our third desktop. Here is our fourth desktop. Back to our first desktop. Cool retro term here. Let me close that out. So, you know, your standard open box session with the tent 2 panel. Love it. I don't know much about i3. I play around a lot with uh, tiling window managers, but I've never used i3. I'm just going to very brief, briefly take a look at the i3 desktop here. All right, and it looks like it automatically launches our file manager and Vivaldi, the web browser, when it loads. And because I never played around with i3, I don't know uh, like some of the default key bindings, but most tiling window managers either alt plus enter or super key plus enter gets us a terminal in this case they have it the key binding set to uh, the super key plus enter gets us to a terminal uh, control w i think will quit now how about alt w no alt w is keyed to chromium oh well i know the command line way of getting out of here exit all right, let's see. Mod Shift E exits I3. All right, and I'll log back into the XFCE session. All right, so what is my final verdict on Arch Merge? Uh, I love it. Uh, it is your standard Arch Linux based distri distribution, so rolling release, fully compatible with Arch Linux comes with the very easy to use Calamares installer that most Arch based Linux distros out there are using these days. It's just super user friendly, uh, very similar to like Ubuntu's Ubiquity installer. You know, you click OK three or four times and you're done, you know, after about 10 minutes. Uh, I love the fact that it comes with a variety of window managers by default. It comes with the XFCE desktop environment. A lightweight desktop environment, but fully functional, includes everything you could possibly want in a desktop environment. Uh, very comfortable to live in. Anybody that's ever used Windows, for example, would have no problem living in XFCE. I also love that they offer a couple of even lighter, more minimal alternatives, such as the open box window manager, if you want a lightweight floating uh, or what they call stacking window manager. They also offer the i3 tiling window manager for those that want to go that route. And uh, I give the install an A. I give the three desktops slash window managers that they included an A+. Love Arch Merge. Give it a try guys. Peace.